Let's take a look at our final product. Tap. Let's dance. What do you think? Welcome, welcome to Scratchy Sunday. We explore Scratch or Scratch Junior every Sunday. We are going to start a new project, the Dancing Cup project. We will split this project into three videos. After this project, you can create your own character, your own background. You don't have to pick a character from the character pool in Scratch Junior. Instead, you can create your own. And you can program it and start the animation by tapping on it. Furthermore, we are not just using one character in this animation. We will create another character, the spoon character in the animation. And the cup character will send a message to the spoon character. So the psychic character, the spoon, will dance with the cup. Are you excited with our new project? If you don't know how to install Scratch Junior on your PC, I will leave a link in the description box. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Your thumbs up means a lot to me. Okay, let's get started. Click on the blank paper and we can start a new project. Now, Mr. Tick, the default character, is at the center of the stage. You can add a new character on the left side of your screen. On the right side is the pages area. You can add a page if you want. This area is the block categories area. And under it, we have the programming area. You can connect programming blocks to create a script for your character in the programming area. Now I have turned on the grid button. And we can start to create our new character, the cop. He or she is our main character. This is our paint editor. We select different tools to draw our character. We pick the light orange color and with the square tool selected, we drag out a square in our editor. <laughs> Believe me, we are drawing a cup, the outline of a cup. Now, drag the circles, the controlling points, to alter the shape. With the circle tool selected, we can create a circle. And this will be the top part of our cup. Click the circle once with the arrow tool, we can see the control points. If you hold on to the circle with the arrow tool, or any shape in fact, you can move the shape. As you may guess, you can select the bucket to fill in the color. You can select any color you want at the bottom of the editor. Is it tempting to make the bottom of the cup with another circle? Hmm, but it doesn't look right. Why? Let's see. If we fill it with color, now it looks like a glass cup. A orange glass cup, but my cup in mind is not transparent. If you right click on the outline of the cup, you can add another control point. We can undo it if you do not need it. With the scissor tool, we can remove the bottom circle. Hmm, let me undo it. Let me see how I can fix this issue with the arrow tool. Move the control points. Hmm. Not really. I cannot remove this outline. Ah, by the way, if you click on one of the control points, the control point will be removed. Hmm. I would want to have that shape, but maybe I should get rid of the bottom circle. Let me use the control points 
to make a similar shape. Hmm. And now I can remove the bottom shape with the scissor too. But my cup shape is rather rough. Let me add more control points to make it smoother. One, two. It looks much better now. Let me fine tune it. Now I think this shape is good to go. Select the line two. Let us add the handle. Actually, it should be the nose of our cup character. At least in my mind. The nose looks good. Now select the, the circle tool to draw the eye. Remember, you can pick the outline thickness. I choose a thin gray line here. The other eye. Okay, fill in the color white. And let's draw the eyeball. One, two. All right. Fill in the color again. Yes. We should move on to draw the mouth. What color should I pick? Yeah. A smiling little cup. We are almost done with the cup face. How is your own little cup looking? Is it looking good? Hmm. Voila! My cup face is done. But my cup is far from finished. I should make it more stylish. With a Victorian era vibe. Let me add another circle. Under the arrow tool, there is the rotation tool. With it, you can rotate any shape you want. But at this moment, I do not want to rotate it. So I undo it. Let me choose the arrow tool again. And add one more control point to alter the shape. Hmm. Yeah. I think it is okay. Pick the bucket and fill in the color. Now, I want to add more decorative elements to make my little cup more beautiful. Choose a blue color, a light blue color. I just draw this. I do not use any shape. Remember, you have to close the shape so you can fill in the color. Hmm. It looks good. Let me add more. Pink this time. Let me also fill in the same pink color. Yay! My cup is done! Let me name this character. Cup. It's simple as that. Okay! Now, my cup is at the center of the stage. Don't forget to give a name to our project. Let me see. How about... Beauty and and the beast. Do you remember the cups and dishes dancing scene? That is a great cartoon movie. You should see it if you haven't. Now our cup character is on top of Mr. Tick. So we should remove Mr. Tick from the stage. Let's hold on and click on the cross. Now, our main character is ready. In the next video, we will see how we can create a custom background. And we can start to program our cup. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. 
Hope you will join us on next Scratchy Sunday. Next Sunday. See you then. Bye bye.